I was born in the suburbs right outside of Chicago, and then I eventually moved to the city. For me, living on the south side and then traveling west to downtown, I became really interested and observant of the differences between the environment on the south side and that up north. A lot of the correlations between healthy food also came with skin color. There are more black people in these areas where there's more unhealthy food, more liquor stores, more convenience stores. And so I was very in tune to noticing how race affected people's access to food. And as I was observing the environment around me, I noticed that there weren't a lot of people that looked like me studying environmental science. And as a girl who really, really, really loves nature and loves outdoors, that encouraged me to try to find a way to introduce more young students of color to the environment. The barrier initially for me was having environmental education accessible. So I built up this proposal for an organization that I would call Get Them to the Green, specifically for a summer camp. And I started putting the curriculum together, so figuring out what things were interesting. I partnered with the University of Chicago Collegiate Scholars Program. They gave me the space free space on the University of Chicago campus. And so that's where the camp was. And for a week, we were just having debates about do humans actually cause climate change or visiting urban gardens um, near the University of Chicago. Okay, is everybody blindfolded? You can't see anything. Blindfolded people, are you ready? Because I'm about to pass out the food. Something that the students really liked was we did a blind taste test activity, basically trying to expose the students to maybe fruits or vegetables that they've never eaten before or that they've never tried because they think they don't like. It was fun to see them try like kiwi or raspberries and say like, I've never tried this, but I really like it. They don't need sugar, they're already sweet. Yes, they're already sweet. After the camp, was wrapped, I was trying to further envision kind of like where I wanted to take the organization. And so that's where the idea of the Vanderpool School Garden occurred. I contacted Gardeners, a nonprofit in Chicago that has 26 school gardens now. We chose Vanderpool as the school to have the garden because of my connections and because of the excitement of the principal and other teachers to have a garden on site. When Deja first came in, she gave us a presentation about how we are gonna like make the garden grow and our ideas. We were also able to pick what we wanted to grow in our garden. It feels good to be working with someone who actually cares about the environment and wants to help students be able to learn more about our plants and foods and stuff. I think gardens are a great tool to get students more interested in the environment. They're fun, like you get to walk around and pick cherries and pick tomatoes and pick food. And then it's something that could be an investment made into the school and that could last for a very long time, even if I wasn't still physically there. Hearing how beneficial the garden is for the students, for the community, for the teachers, it's been great. I think that says a lot to what that space can do now and what it can do in the future. Does anybody know what this is? Your southern grandparent probably eats it, but it is not this color. Four letters, Pepper? starts with an O. Knowledge induces action. And so I'm much more compelled to actually do things within my community when I'm aware of the problems that are existing. And so it's nice to see the information that these kids already know about the environment, but further build off of that. I think that's the most exciting thing to see. The media does a terrible job of portraying people of color in general, especially women of color. It feels really good to know that I'm being a role model in a different way for these girls and showing them like, this is something that you can do, this is something that you can be, and you can be very successful being interested in the planet.